Jom ikuti saya dan Kak Fifi menyambut kedatangan bulan Ramadan. Kita akan mencuba pelbagai aktiviti yang boleh dilakukan oleh anak-anak untuk persiapan Hari Raya. Kita akan meneroka bagaimana kuasa magnet-magnet boleh menolong kami dalam membersihkan rumah dan menyiapkan hidangan istimewa untuk berbuka puasa. Last night, we went to the Geylang Serai Ramadan Bazaar and we got to experience its amazing atmosphere. We also got the things that we needed for Hari Raya. Today is going to be an exciting day because we are going to find out... What happens during Ramadan? Bulan ini ialah bulan puasa yang diberkati. Ini juga masa yang istimewa untuk kita menyediakan rumah dan juga diri kita untuk hari raya puasa. Tetapi Kak Fifi, selalunya ini semua dilakukan oleh orang dewasa kan? Well, mostly yes, but there are a lot of ways in which you and your friends can also get involved. <laughs> Baiklah kalau begitu, kawan-kawan, apabila kita libatkan diri dengan persiapan hari raya bersama ibu dan bapa, kita akan rasa lebih gembira pada musim ini. Now Mimi, the one thing that we must do before hari raya is to clean the house. Benar Kak Fifi, kita mahu bersihkan rumah kita supaya rumah akan kelihatan bersih dan cantik pada hari raya. Radio Mimio, we want our house to be speak and span for when the guests come to visit us during hari raya. Also, we'll just be a lot happier when our house is clean. Now, let me think, how can we make this more interesting? Hmm. Aha, idea! Let's all dress up as superheroes! Say hello to my super pals! Super Kiki and Super Mimi! Let's do our best superhero poses! Now, are you guys ready to clean? I'm ready! Great job! Let's go! Kawan-kawan, kita boleh menolong ibu bapa lap dan bersihkan cermin-cermin. Mimi suka menolong lakukan tugas ini kerana kita boleh menggunakan alat pembersih gelas yang magnetik. Alat ini mempunyai magnet di kedua-dua bahagian. Molekul-molekul di dalam magnet A ini semuanya menghala ke satu arah. Sementara molekul-molekul di dalam magnet B ini menghala ke arah yang bertentangan. Apabila kedua-dua magnet ini bertemu, molekul-molekul di dalam magnet A akan tertarik kepada molekul-molekul di dalam magnet B. Ini membolehkan kedua-dua alat pembersih ini melekati bersama-sama dan membolehkan kita mengelap cermin-cermin gelas dengan serentak. Wow, look at all these household items on the tray. Friends, do you know that magnetic items are all around us? You can go on a treasure hunt to find the magnetic items around you. For example, on this tray, let's find out which ones are magnetic and which ones are non-magnetic. Here's a clue. Magnetic items must be made out of materials that can be attracted to magnets. Let's try it out. Firstly, paper clips. Wow. Secondly, 
Paper cups. Thirdly, metal spoons. Or plastic spoons. Fourthly, wooden cars. Metal cars. Wow! Fifthly, hairpins. Wow! And lastly, batteries. Wow, it looks like we do have a lot of magnetic items in our house. Great job, Super Pals! Super Kiki, thanks for helping me today! Bye-bye! Oh, Mimi! Looks like our mission for today has just come in! Ah, it says here that our mission for today is in the kitchen. Kitchen for our mission? Mission in the kitchen? Let's go find out! Oh, Mimi, it says here that our mission for today is to create a sweet and refreshing treat for breakfast. Oh, seronoknya misi kita hari ini. Apabila kita berbuka puasa, selalunya kita akan menghidangkan minuman atau pencuci mulut yang menyegarkan. Saya juga tahu yang puasa itu mungkin sesuatu yang susah untuk kawan-kawan. Tapi kita boleh berlatih perlahan-lahan. Contohnya, Mimi sekarang sedang berlatih puasa. Jadi, saya puasa untuk setengah hari sahaja. That is great advice, Mimi. Friends, the reason that we fast is so that we can feel what it is like to go on without food and drinks, just like the less fortunate. It also teaches us to be grateful for the things that we do have. Now, what would make a sweet and refreshing treat? Aha! Idea! How about we make some frozen banana pops? Frozen! Frozen! Let's get frozen! Kawan-kawan, pada bulan Ramadan, kita boleh menolong ibu bapa menyiapkan hidangan makanan untuk berbuka puasa. Kak Vivi sekarang menyediakan pisang pop beku yang diperbuat dari pisang, yogurt dan bijiran. Wow, Mimi, these frozen banana pops look so beautiful and so colourful. I can't wait to try them out for breakfast. Friends, you can use other type of fruits for these frozen pops too. Can you think of other fruits that we can use? Those are excellent suggestions. We can use other fruits like these red apples or these yellow coloured mangoes. Any fruits that are not too wet on the inside. Wow, Mimi, look at all these cereals. I just noticed that there are a lot of 3D shapes in the cereals. Can you spot them? Ya, Kak Fifi. Mimi boleh lihat bentuk bulan sabit, bentuk sphere, bentuk bintang, bentuk cube empat segi tepat. Great, Mimi. Now that our frozen banana pops have been popped into the freezer, we will wait for it to be ready for breakfast time. Phew! Mimi, all that cleaning and preparing food for breaking fast has left me a little tired. However, I'm actually feeling really happy because now our house is clean and we have frozen treats waiting for us in the freezer. Now, Mimi, one thing that we can do during this festive season is to give out donations or well wishes to our loved ones or the less fortunate. We can do so by putting money into money envelopes like this and giving it out during Hari Raya. Mimi, can you help me with this? Tentu boleh! Mimi suka menolong Kak Fifi masukkan wang ke dalam sampul duit. Kawan-kawan, selalunya wang nota mempunyai warna berdasarkan nilai yang tertentu. Contohnya, nota 2 dolar bernilai 2 Mimi dan berwarna ungu. Nota 5 dolar ini bernilai... Lima Mimi dan berwarna hijau. Nota sepuluh dolar ini bernilai 
sepuluh mimi dan berwarna merah. Wow, nota lima puluh dolar ini bernilai lima puluh mimi dan berwarna biru. Wow, Mimi, look at all these Mimi dollars jumbled up. Hmm, I have an idea. How about we arrange them from the smallest value to the highest value? Hmm, I wonder how we can do that. Hmm. Whoa, we can do it by this Mimi value board. I have all the Mimi values here starting from one Mimi dollar, which is the smallest value because it is only worth one Mimi. And all the way to 10 Mimi dollars, which has the highest value because it is worth 10 Mimis. Now, what if I put this 5 Mimi dollar note on the board? This 5 Mimi dollars is worth 5 Mimis. Now, what if we have two Mimi dollars? Do you think that this is lesser than or more than five Mimi dollars? Yes, you're right. It is lesser than five Mimi dollars because it is only worth two Mimis as compared to five Mimis. Now, how about this 10 Mimi dollar note? Do you think that this is lesser than or more than Five Mimi dollars? Radio Frenzio, it is more than five Mimi dollars because it is worth ten Mimis as compared to five Mimis. Thank you so much, Mimi, for helping me pack these green packets. I can't wait to give them out as a form of sadaka or charity during Hari Raya. a delicious meal that we had for breakfast. I'm so thankful for this meal and I'm so thankful for you for helping me today. Sama-sama Kak Fifi, bila saya ringan tulang dan rajin menolong kamu, saya pun rasa gembira kerana kita boleh meraihkan Ramadan dan Hari Raya dengan lebih meriah. And ta -ta -da -da, look what I have! These are the frozen banana pops which we made just now. Mission accomplished, Mimi! Yay! Hmm, pencuci mulut pisang pop beku ini membuat saya mahu nyanyi. Mimi, 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 Mimi! Sihat dan sedap sekali! Wow, Mimi! Look at that beautiful crescent moon on this beautiful Ramadan night. Hmm, actually, that reminds me. I have a special surprise for you. Are you ready? Sentiasa sedia! Now let's see what happens when I do this. Ta-da! Wow, Kak Fifi, lampu kelap kelip. Lampu-lampu kelap kelip yang berbentuk bulan sabit ini menandakan kedatangan bulan sabit baharu yang boleh dilihat pada bulan Ramadan. Nampaknya kita sudah bersedia untuk menyambut Hari Raya. Yay, 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 esok Hari Raya. Kawan-kawan, imbas kod QR ini untuk mendapatkan aktiviti-aktiviti yang kamu boleh buat di rumah bersama ibu bapa. Seperti dekorasi alas meja khas buka puasa, membuat ketupat 3D kamu dan dekorasi gambar masjid. And friends, join us in our next episode when we answer the question, What happens during Hari Raya? We are going to take you on an exciting journey to see the special things that we do on the morning of Hari Raya, sing and dance to our very own Hari Raya song, and wear our special Hari Raya clothes. We can't wait to see you then. Bye-bye! Jumpa lagi! <laughs>